Hi everyone, this video is going to be my end of April updates. Unfortunately, I missed March, so there's a lot to catch up on. So this is my Rinkori Day's Bangkok sunset and it's pushing out a new leaf. This is the Castelle Alada and I repotted it in lava rock. Actually, half, half the pot is charcoal and the rest is lava rock. The reason why I repotted this was because uh, I found a small snail, um, so I figured I'll just repot the whole thing to be safe. And in the process, I ended up splitting the plant, so it's actually in four separate pieces. So one, two, three, four. This is the only one with an active growth. It has mostly no roots, but I'm hoping it'll recover. And here you can see the new growth. Unfortunately, whatever roots this plant had, I think they're dead because there's some white fuzz growing, which is probably mold. And this is my Fel Javanica, and it's in bud. And these are my flask babies. I ignored them for most of the week because I was super busy with work and I just watered them this morning. Most of them seem fine. I notice there's one here the leaf started yellowing but I think it'll be fine. This is Cycopsis or Cycopsiella limbing hate. I've tried to create a humidity tray with it to help encourage it to bloom. I haven't seen any results of that right now but uh, maybe in the future. One thing I noticed was since I've done that, there's been salts um, being deposited on this charcoal, so I have to rinse it pretty regularly. This is Thrixpermum leucoracne, and it's pushing out a new leaf. It also has a new root that's coming out as well. This is Dendrobium draconis in bloom. It's been in bloom for a while. I forgot if I mentioned it in the last video, but I did repot it in lava rock. And it just started out pushing out new roots. So this is Dendrobium lina lianum and it's pushing out a new growth. This is Dendrobium exusitae and it's pushing out a couple new growths. It's also pushing out a few roots so it should start anchoring itself pretty soon. This is Dendrobium scabrilingu. I decided to repot it in lava rock. I don't think these black haired Dendrobiums do well in semi-hydro. I noticed that all the ones that were previously in semi-hydro, so Coronaferum draconis and this one, uh, when I unpotted it, it didn't have any roots. So I think moving forward, if I get another one of these, I just I would just put it in lava rock. It seems as though when they go into, well not dormancy, but into rest, they tend to lose their roots, unlike catacetums. Even though the roots may dry out, they really hang on to the hydrogen. In any case, there's one bud that's close to opening and there's actually a new one starting right there. This is Puffinia rugosa. I moved it to the kitchen because I think the window was too cold for it. I lost a bunch of growths and all of the flower spikes that started growing. So far it's in spike again and this time I think it's going to bloom but we'll see. This is Galeotia fimbriata and it is still in bloom. And pretty much all my catacetums are now actively growing so that's good. Although there's only one of them where I'm actually watering it because it's big enough. Um, the rest just have small growths right now. This is my Dendrobium antenatum cross and it has a new growth. And this is the current progress of my Dendrobium sherry abe. This is my Fal cornucervi shadalati and it has a flower spike. The old one dried up but it decided to push out a new one. This is my Leptodes bicolor. Uh, mainly for res, res Ketzel. You can see the spike dried up. Thinking maybe I should provide it with the humidity tray, maybe that would help, like what I did with the Cyacopsis uh, Liming Hay. And this is my Dendrobium Bellatulum, and it bloomed for me. I also cleaned up the old pseudobulb that wasn't really attached anymore. I'm actually thinking about getting a cool log for this, but I'm still debating that. This is Bulbophyllum Saltatorium. Albo ciliatum, and I've repotted it in a gooey duck shell. The reason I did that was because it's quite rambly and the shell is wider than the pot, but it's not very really deep, so I don't think it'll be too, too wet. It doesn't have any drainage holes, but it can tilt the shell to um, get rid of the excess water, so that's new. This is my Angricum germanianum, and it decided to push out another spike. I still don't like the way the leaves are growing at the top. My intention was to kind of spray the area 
every morning to increase the humidity, but I, I just haven't been doing that, so I think that's part of the problem. This is Neo Phoenicia falcata hakjo, and it's pushing out a new spike. And this is Bolophyllum harbrotinum. Previously, it had a new growth on this side, but it rotted, so it decided to create a new growth on this side. One thing you'll notice is that the top looks kind of gross, and that's because I scraped off all the moss that was growing. It had a white film, which I believe is uh, fertilizer deposits when the water evaporates. So since then, I haven't been fertilizing this plant, I've just been using plain water. This is Bulbophyllum sulawesii and its new growth is progressing really nicely. This is Bulbophyllum princess bajaratana and it has a new growth. The other division I have doesn't have any new growths yet. This is Corianthes misasii. I decided to pot it up in a pot instead of an open basket to help uh, retain moisture. So far it's been good. I also moved it to this area on the shelf instead of near the window. It's less likely to dry out. This is Padangus dactyliceris and it has eight flower spikes on it so that is super exciting. It's gonna have a really good bloom display this year. So the guy in the back there is Dendrobium christianum. It was actually a replacement from what I got before. When I first purchased it, the one I had died, the vendor said he would replace it for me. So that's what this plant is. I have another new acquisition which I will show in a bit. I think out of all the things that is happening, this is the most exciting thing for me. This is Vanda Roblinkiana and it is in spike and the buds look healthy. I don't think they're going to blast. So that's super exciting for me. So this is my other new acquisition. It's Ornithochylus deformis. Now I did buy this plant before from Hangduan Biotech, but it didn't survive. So I was very happy to see that Tropical Gardens had this plant. So I snatched it up right away. One thing to point out is that it came with a flower spike. So hopefully I'll see some blooms on this. This is my Senhopia and it's pushing out a new growth. Well, it's already pushed it out. Uh, it's just the bulb needs to get a little bit bigger. This is my Fal Fimbriata and it's still in bloom. Uh, actually on this spike and the spike over, oops, over here, there's some buds forming. So I think we will also get more blooms further down the line. And this is my Fal No ID and it's still in bud compared to last year. It looks like I have more buds, so that's good. Last but not least, this is my Orangus punctata, and it finally pushed out a new leaf, so this is growing. Alrighty, so that's my video for today. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!